Easter has come for a family after the murder of a 16-year-old girl more than 40 years ago. The case was cold for decades, but investigators say new technology led them to a suspect and an arrest in Gresham three years ago. Yesterday, that man was convicted by a jury in Alaska. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now in studio with more. Jeffrey. Pete Nora Shelley Connolly was 16 years old in 1978. She was found dead off a highway near Anchorage, Alaska in January of that year. Investigators found signs that indicated she'd been sexually assaulted, strangled, and beaten. The case was cold for more than 40 years until modern technology led the investigation to Donald McQuaid's house in Gresham, where he was arrested in 2019. Back in the 70s, of course, when this case happened, if they had had that now, it could have been a much different story. Randy McFuron, an investigator with the Anchorage, Alaska Cold Case Unit, is talking about a different story for then 16-year-old Shelley Connolly, who was last seen alive at an Anchorage bar and later a restaurant in early January 1978. The same morning, two women found her dead in an embankment down a nearby highway where investigators found she'd been raped and murdered. Investigators in 1978 had a good idea of what happened to Shelley Connolly. But those 40 odd years ago, there wasn't enough evidence to bring anybody to trial, and the case went cold until 2019. It just happened to be the right place at the right time. With new technology, investigators were able to land on a new suspect, Donald McQuaid, who was living in the Portland metro area in 2019, where McFuron says he coordinated with the Gresham Police Department, and together they were able to use McQuaid's DNA from discarded cigarettes to put him at the scene of the crime. So we were pretty confident this, this was a viable suspect. For three years, McQuaid would await trial, and when it came in early December, his attorneys argued the evidence wasn't sufficient. Don McQuaid didn't rape Shelley Connolly. Don McQuaid did not murder Shelley Connolly. A sentiment shared by McQuaid's brother, Richard, who we spoke with over the phone. Yeah, I know he's innocent. You know, he's lived a, he's lived a, a full life. He's raised a family. He's never been mean or bottom, bottom line is he didn't do it. Somebody else did it. Richard McQuaid says he doesn't believe his brother's conviction was right. Basically something fishy has, has gone on. While he maintains his brother's innocence, he expresses empathy for the deceased. Yeah, she was, she was 16 years old. God rest her soul. Mr. McQuaid, will you please stand? Out on bail and living with his wife and mother and father-in-law for the last several years, Donald McQuaid left an Alaska courtroom in handcuffs, convicted of murder Tuesday. Oh, but I'm glad we finally got it done and we were able to get a conviction. At this time, we're not sure when McQuaid will be sentenced, but his brother shared with us that he believes it will be in May, and they're hoping to have him back in Kelso until then. He says his brother plans to appeal the conviction. Reporting live in studio tonight, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12.